I want to take this opportunity to speak to our brothers, the Taliban. We call on you to ensure the safe and secure passage of any individual in Afghanistan out of the country. Our brothers, the Taliban? That's Maryam Monsa, a cabinet minister in Justin Trudeau's government. She was reading from a prepared script. That wasn't something she said by accident. That was prepared by staff. Many eyes would have seen that. In fact, I see a report in the National Post that Monsef used that exact same language, our Taliban brothers, at a press conference just a few days ago. Mariam Monsef, on behalf of the government of Canada, is calling the Taliban our brothers. But the Taliban is actually right now on Public Safety Canada's list of official terrorist groups right there with al-Qaeda and the rest of them. What on earth is going on? Joining us now via Skype is our friend Spencer Fernando from spencerfernando.com. Great to see you again. What do you make of this? Am I making much ado about nothing? Or is this a rather creepy way to talk about terrorists? Yeah, it's quite disturbing. And it's obviously not the first time the Liberal government has uh, been a little too friendly with people who totally oppose Canadian values, people who really are uh, an enemy of Canada. And unfortunately, it's not a big surprise, but it is quite disturbing. And, um, you know, it's not the first time we've seen this. It's it's apparently not going to be the last time we see it from the Liberals as well. And, uh, you know, it, it's more than just disturbing. Though. It's also quite insulting. Like if you're if you're a Canadian soldier who was injured in Afghanistan or you know, lost a friend in Afghanistan or family who lost someone in Afghanistan, and then you hear a Canadian minister calling the people who killed your family member uh, our brothers, uh, that's got to make you pretty disturbed and pretty disgusted uh, to see that. Yeah. You know, there's an extra layer to this. Um, Mariam Monsef herself is a refugee from there. Now, she lied, as you know. She lied in her application, claimed she was from Afghanistan. Actually, she's from Iran, but her family knew saying she was from Afghanistan would have made it easier for her to immigrate. I just want to play a quick clip of her being called out on that by uh, Bob Fife, who was just take a quick look at this. So you were born in Afghanistan, correct? I believe I was. So she's from that region. She fled to Canada as a refugee because it is such a dangerous region because of the Taliban and other terrorists. And her title, Spencer, is Women's and and Gender Equality Minister. So she's from that part of the world, knows how dangerous you are. She fled here claiming her life was in danger over there. Her title is Women's Minister in Gender Equality. And I don't think there's any force in the world that's more misogynist than the Taliban. And she's the one calling them brothers? Like, how many layers of self-denial or, like, of all the people in the world to call them brothers, she would be the one who, God forbid, would be raped by the Taliban, may it never happen. Yeah, and you know, what's so concerning about this is it, it's a pattern, not just from her, but from the liberals is look at how they speak about people who are, you know, the enemies of Canada or who are very ideologically opposed to Canadian values, right? Whether it's China, Cuba, you know, we saw what Trudeau said about Fidel Castro. Now with Maria Monsef, of course. And, um, you know, then look at how they treat Canadians who happen to dis disagree with them politically, right? Look at, look at the anger you'll see on Trudeau's face when he talks about Canadians, for example, who aren't being vaccinated. Yeah. Or Canadians who are conservative or Canadians, you know, in rural areas or, you know, more socially conservative people. It's just it's like they, he has total anger and disdain and hatred for for Canadians who disagree with him. Yet when he talks about people who are actually enemies of Canada, people who are doing terrible things, in the case of the Taliban, people who actually killed Canadian soldiers, it's, oh, they're our brothers or it's just a bunch of nice appeals to them. And I think people, Canadians really need to consider how can we have a government that is more aggressive and more angry towards our own citizens than towards enemies of our country? And that should be concerning to everybody. Yeah, you're so right. I've never heard Trudeau or a Trudeau cabinet minister talk to the premier of Saskatchewan or the premier of Alberta as, listen, my brother, we're all in this Canadian <laughs> family together. Let's reason this out. Like that, the word brother is such an affectionate word. And... Mm -hmm. It's a reminder that, hey, we're bonded together in ways more important than policy differences. We never hear that. You, you're so right to point out Trudeau's raging rant, saying there will be consequences to people who, for whatever reason, don't take the vaccine. 
and, and, and never forget Omar Khadr. Trudeau gave him a personal apology, took him off the no-fly list, gave him ten and a half million dollars. Mm -hmm. If only he treated Canadians that he disagreed with so well. It, it's such a, such a clarifying moment. We're in a very important Canadian election, and I want everyone to see our premium shows that are normally behind a paywall. So during the election, anyone can get free access to our special premium shows, my nightly show a weekly show by Sheila Gunn-Reed and David Menzies and Andrew Chapados by going to rebelnewsplus.com and using the promo code ELECTION and you'll see the good stuff for free. Go to rebelnewsplus.com and use promo code ELECTION.